But Stefanovic, long ball over the top. Mike Hank, will he get there? Maybe. Oh, he intercepts off the post. Oh. What's going on, guys? My name is Adam. I am a super swan. I welcome to episode 22 of Project Pompey. We are in fourth place in the Premier League with five games to go. And it's looking very healthy for a chance for next season's Champions League. We are level on points with third place Spurs on 61 points. We are a point ahead of Newcastle with a game in hand. And two points clear of Chelsea with a game in hand. If I show you the schedule since you last left us, we have gone unbeaten. We hammered Chelsea 3-1 at home. That was the most important game of the season. Yaya Torre with a goal and a penalty. Messi grabbing a third. Robinho did grab one to make it 1-1, but we did go on to win that game 3-1. We did disappointingly draw the next game 2-2 against Birmingham. Messi got a goal as is Morton Gamps Pedersen, but David Dunn in the second half Scored two absolute peach of goals. So we did come away a little bit disappointed. But then we did beat Man City with our game in hand. Mike Hank and Van Persie grabbing the win at home. And I was thinking we are on a roll. We're going up against Udinese and we did draw the first leg 1-1. Yaya Torre and Se Philippe Senderos, a former Arsenal centre-back, grabbing their equaliser. So they do have an away goal. And in the second game of this episode, we've got to try and go out to uh, Italy and grab a goal. But we do play Leicester first of all at home. No, actually we're away from home. So it's going to be very tricky with two away games coming today. It's going to be very, very tricky. But we do have Leicester. And if we win, we could go into third place in the league. So with our Champions League game coming up, I have rotated the team. And this is the team we're going for against Leicester. Check and goal. Del Horno, Stefanovic, Dawson and Varela at the back. Sheiru, Amdi Fey and De Groot in the middle. And Morton Scamps, Pedersen, Mike Hank and Dimitrov up front. So, not off starting 11. A lot of them are on the bench or not even involved today. But we've got to sort of save ourselves for the Udinese game in the UEFA Cup. So, let's have a look at Leicester's team. Let's see who they've got within their team. We've got Stack, Pistoni, Klomp, Rickson, Muzzy, is it still plays for Leicester? Ricardo Gardner, Yakin, Jermaine Pennant on the wing. Who's on the bench? Trevor Sinclair, Mike Tong... So a few well-known players, but we've got to try and get past them to get all three points. So I'm going to give an assertive. The media's been praising you lately. That doesn't do the trick, but I'll tell them I have faith in them. That normally hypes them up. So it is third place Portsmouth, because obviously we get the point. We go up to third against ninth place Leicester. If we can get something out of this game, we could be in third place in the Premier League. But we are away from home, so let's get the action underway. Dawson whips it in for Pedersen. And he heads it over the bar. We are playing in white today. Leicester in the blue. We've started quite well. Throw in from Leicester. Rickson, 21 minutes in. Gets his Jermaine Pennant, but Amdi Faye wins it. Only to go to the striker, Denna Boom. Another slight tackle, but we do get the ball back. Again, giving it away. Very back and forth. We're winning the ball, but we just give it straight back to Leicester. We won it again, give it back to them. But we do finally get the ball back. De Groot plays it back to Petr Cech. Stefanovic now to Bruno Sheiru. It is very much our rotated team in this game. I have to prioritise the Europa League or the UEFA Cup if we have a chance of getting through to the semi-finals of that competition. But we are also chasing Champions League. Mike Hank plays it Dimitrov. And it's a save by, I believe it's Graham Stack. I want to say it's Graham Stack. We'll find out in the minute. But Amdi Faye with a corner whips it in. It's cleared away. I think that might be the end of the highlight. But De Groot holds on to the ball. Maybe not. But that is a foul. And that should be the end of that highlight. And oh, I want to see if it's Graham Stack. Hang on. I've got to find out, guys. I've got to find out. Uh, how do I find out? We have to wait to the end of the highlight. We'll have to wait for this first. But Del Horno finds Amdi Faye. To Bruno Sheiru in the middle. Lovely pass that's intercepted by Jermaine Pennant. And Birmingham, no, it's not, it's not even Birmingham, it's Leicester. I've seen Jermaine Pennant and thought it was Birmingham. But it is Leicester we're playing. 
and it's very scrappy on possession. We're just giving the ball away way too easily. But I'm sure it's Graham Stack. That's going to annoy me now. I need to know. Gardner to Muzzy, is it? Fairly long highlights in the first sort of 23 minutes. I'm a little bit worried. I sense a goal. I sense a goal coming. It's oh, it's a penalty. It's just as good as a goal. But it's a penalty to Leicester. Come on, Petr Cech. You can keep this out. Who's it going to be? It's Vaughan with a penalty. He puts it away. It's 1-0 to Leicester. David Vaughan with the goal. I mean, if we lose this game, we will still be in fourth place. It's not the end of the world. But I would like to maybe put some distance between us and the chasing pack so that we can try and secure Champions League football. Let me try and see if it's... Is it Graham Stack? It is Graham Stack. Get in there. I know my football. 27 minutes in, 1-0 to Leicester. As we go into a, a free kick from Del Horno. Sheru, Varela's on his own out there. Crosses it. And it's a poor cross. Varela's trying to get back into the team. Deflection! Bruno Sheru gets the goal. It's a deflection. That'll do me. Doesn't matter how they go in. I was too busy trying to say that Verena's been trying to get back in the team since Philippe Lahm's come in. But then Bruno Sheru, he has the shot. It's deflected off the defender. I'll take that any day of the week. 1-1. We are back in the game. Come up to halftime. Still 1-1. Leicester have got the possession. But apart from that, it's been quite an equal game. I mean, they've got a lot of negatives, Leicester, to be fair. But Hamdi Faye's lost possession. Sorry, I sneezed. Hamdi Faye has lost possession more than any other player in the team. So we may have to sub him off. Morton Camps Palace is not playing very well either. So we're going to give her... I need to stop sneezing. <laughs> I need to stop sneezing. So we're going to give... Let's have a look. What, what things have we got? I see this is a great opportunity to show the pundits. They've been right to back you up. And they're all confused. Well, okay, we'll, we'll go with the... Uh, you've got what it takes. You've got what it takes. Oh, no, they've, they're negative and demotivated. That's probably the worst team talk I've ever done. But we'll make some subs. So Morton Scamps Palace, and we'll bring him off. We'll, bring, we'll move Dimitrov onto the right. And we'll bring on Messi on the right. No, tell you what, we'll bring on Bozhinov, because Bozhinov can play inside forward. We'll save Messi for the UEFA Cup. Apart from that, Varela's having a poor game, as is Amdi Fay. So we'll maybe bring on Kevin Nolan for Amdi Fay. So double substitution. I've kind of demotivated the players. Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. Stefanovic with a free kick, though, 48 minutes in. Only three minutes since the restart. It's a long ball. Finds Bozhinov. Oh, maybe the demotivational team talk was the one to get them to score the goals. But it's a corner now. Del Horno whips it in. Header by Hank. Saved by Graham Stack. Throw in from Del Horno. 56 minutes. Dimitrov crosses it. Cleared away. And Gardner's going to pounce for the counter-attack for Leicester. He keeps on going. He's going to find Denner Boom. And who's he going to try and find? Crosses it. Gardner misses it. But he's going to try and cross it in again. He does. Headed away. Oh, I was going to say Dimitrov did well to claim that ball. And Mike Hank's away. Come on, Hank. He beats the man. Mike Hank. Mm, that was a bit poor. That's why you're uh, your second or third choice, Mike Hank. You're not quite as good as Yakubu. But it's a long highlight. And we all know how long highlights go. It's either a goal, a penalty, or something else. But Pennant crosses it for Gardner. We called it. We absolutely called it. And it's 2-1 to Leicester. Uh, see, this is something, right? And I don't want to say it's a criticism. But the fact that I can call a goal before it happens makes it a little bit predictable, football manager. So maybe they need to, like, shorten the highlights a bit to make it as if I don't know if it's going to be a goal. But it is 2-1 Leicester. we got to get back in the game. 67 minutes in, Del Oro's on a 5.7. So I'm going to uh, sub him off. We'll bring Matty Taylor on. The only other thing I can really do is we'll go a little bit more direct. We'll, we'll not pass into space. And we'll maybe sort of... We'll keep everything else the same, I think. So we're just going to go a little bit more direct in our play. 
and try and find an equaliser. Can we get it immediately? Matty Taylor to Bozhinov. It's cleared away. And Leicester on the counter. We went four games unbeaten going into today. So, of course, it's it's the camera case. We had it a lot in FM18 with saving swans. It's 3-1 Leicester. The camera curse has returned from FM18. We did so well off camera, then we come back and we lose 3-1. But, you know, we've still got 20 minutes to go. I just hope it's not one of those episodes where, you know, we're going to cry, we're going to lose this game, we're going to crash out of the UEFA Cup. It's because I've reloaded the game. You know, I, when, I, when I last did my recording session, we were playing well. We should have just recorded from then. But 75 minutes in... We are sinking without a trace. 85 minutes, five minutes to go. It's been all less to the second half, so maybe that demotivational talk wasn't the best. But Dimitrov now tries to find Bozhinov, but it is intercepted. We've lost the ball way too much today. I mean, what, pass is complete to 70%. It is slightly more than Leicester, but I just feel as if we've given the ball way too cheaply today. But Stefanovic, long ball over the top. Mike Hank, will he get there? Maybe. Oh, he intercepts off the post. Oh, he's already scored one goal like that this season. And that kind of sums up our game, really. Sums up the game. We had the perfect chance to score and we just didn't take it. But we're going into the 93rd minute, end of the game. And Leicester, they have deserved the win, to be fair. They've had two clear-cut chances. We've had three clear-cut chances and only scored one goal. But that's the way it goes sometimes. But Leicester do pick up a win. It was a very much heavily rotated team. But I am going to give an aggressive. That was not good enough. So I have re-motivated the players going into the UEFA Cup game. Although to be fair, not a lot of them will be playing in that game. Leicester profit from wasteful Pompey. Stefanovic reveals my fury. And we're going to get some money for being in the Premier League. So we did lose that game in hand, but we are still in fourth. But as you can see, sixth, fifth, fourth, and third is only two points separating sixth from third. So the four last four games of the season to try and secure a Champions League place between us, Spurs, Newcastle, and Chelsea, that is going to be a very tough run in for the rest of the season. We've been in Champions League for most of the season, but if we're going to secure Champions League football, we have got to turn up for the rest of the season. But we are going to focus on the UEFA Cup now. We're in the quarter-final second leg. We travel out to Italy. It's 1-1 at the moment, and we do need to find a goal out in Italy, otherwise we will be knocked out. So I will see you for the second leg. We have arrived at the Udinese game, and I thought I'd show you the squad that we are going up against in the UEFA Cup quarterfinal. So the main goalkeeper, De Sanctis, is their best player, four-star current ability. But they got Kroll Drop, they've got Jan Kolofsky, Czechoslovakian or Czech Republic international, I should say. But who else have they got? And Penza, Hernandovic is in there. They've got a 33-year-old Rivaldo in the team, although he's only a... A 50 on the scout report. He's not quite as good as Bruno Sheiru. But, you know, Bruno Sheiru is as good as Rivaldo in this universe. But, you know, he is 33 and he is on the decline. But he's going to back to Vasco da Gama next season. They've got Philippe Senderos, although he is suspended. So the goal scorer did get suspended. But then they've got... A good thing is a lot of their good players are injured. So SCN is injured. De Castino's injured. Although David Pizarro, he's also, well, he's their best player, four and a half star. He is their striker, or, well, centre attacking midfielder, is he? Yeah, David Pizarro, centre attacking midfield or midfielder. So he will be in the games. So we do need to watch out for him. But that is the team that we've got to try and get past to get to the semi finals of the Europa League. And this is the team for it. Only two survivors. Petr Cech and Morten Gams Pedersen from the loss against Leicester. We've got Cech in goal, Taylor, Wan, Zivkovic and Philippe Lahm at the back. Yaya Torre, Morten Gams Pedersen and Nolan in the midfield. Van Persie, Bozhinov and Messi. All three, I guess, because Bozhinov was on the right-hand side. One thing I forgot to mention was Yakubu did pick up a knock in the Chelsea game, so he has been out. 
but he's not fit enough to make this team, so he's only fit enough for the bench. He is still technically injured, so I don't know if we're going to risk him or not, but Bozhinov is going to hopefully do a job for us up front. So we do have to score if we're going to get through, because the tie is 1-1, and if it stays as it is, they will go through on away goals. So we do need to score. So I'm going to give an assertive... Uh, I want to see a much better performance from you today, even though most of them didn't actually play the Leicester game. But you know, we're not going to tell them that. We're going to try and hype them up. So it is 1-1. We are away from home. We need to score if we have any chance of making the semi-finals. The dream is still alive, but we've got to get something out in Italy as we do clear the ball away. Is this an early highlight? No, it is not. But we'll get the game underway. And Borginov's picked up a knock. In the first minute of this game, I strike up problems already. 18 minutes in, throw in. Pedersen does win that ball, though. Borzhinov still picked up a knock, but he have not said about coming off. So we're going to keep him on for now, as he does chase onto the ball. But it is saved by De Sanctis. I think, is it affecting him? Is the injury getting to him? If it is... We may have to move Van Persie up front and bring Dimitrov on the wing. But Mpenza outside the box, in the box. Petr Cech with a save. Very back and forth so far. But I am concerned about Bozhinov's injury. Throw in though. He does win it. Messi, can we get a bit of magic? Switches the flanks to Taylor. Crosses it to Bozhinov. Bozhinov scores! There is the away goal. And the man we were worried about has actually scored the goal. And that is fine by me. And we've got that away goal. He did start the move off, to be fair. He played it to Messi. Messi switched it to Taylor. Well, he had a low cross in the box. Bozhinov's on his own. It's a lovely finish. And we do find ourselves 2-1 up. And more importantly, we've got that away goal. 39 minutes in, five minutes to go before half time. If they do score again, so if it is 1 1 in this game, it will go to extra time. But Pozhinov has already proven that is definitely not going to happen as he's doubled up. He's injured, scored two goals, and now we have two away goals. So that means that Udinese have to score three goals to qualify because we have scored more away goals than they have and we are on our way to a UEFA Cup semi-final. But you today have got to score three goals. They have to score three to go through and Petr Cech is ensuring that that is not going to happen as we are going to go into half-time. The Bozhinov show, he certainly picked it up since Yakubu has been out. Even if it's just for this one game, he has picked it up. And I'm very pleased with that first half performance. So I'm going to give a... An ass well, I'm just giving an assertive. You know, don't let your performance levels drop. I know Borzhinov might be demotivated. But, mate, you know, we want to make sure that we are holding on to this lead. Van Persie's only on 6.5. So I am going to bring on... Who have we got on the bench to play with? I think we'll bring Dramitrov on. So we'll do a like-for-like -like swap on the left-hand side. So we do go into the second half, and as long as we don't collapse, we should be into the UEFA Cup semi-final. 48 minutes, Bozhinov on the ball, finds Zivkovic, Yaya Torre to Pedersen. Nola with a shot, it's 3-0! It's an absolute screamer from Kevin Nolan, and we are 3-0 up out in Italy. We only managed a 1-1 draw at home, but away from home, we have turned up. And that means that they've got to score four goals to qualify. That should be... That should be it. That should be it. Kevin Nola with a long shot. 3-0 up. Pizarro with a corner. 61 minutes. Yaya Torres picked up a bruised ankle. we got injury problems coming from everywhere. But Messi... He should have hooked it clear there, Messi, instead of headering it. But, you know, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. We're 3-0 up. We are 4-1 up on aggregate as Petr Cech does collect the ball. I am thinking about subbing Yaya Torre off. I have seen he's on something like 40%. So we might have to bring him off, see how he feels, unless he gets himself sent off with a slide. But Messi, the assists king, tries to play it, but Kevin Nolan will pick that back up. Philippe Lahm 
Long cross from him to Dimitrov. It's in the goal. And it's 4-0 out in Italy. Dimitrov's come off the bench to score the goal. Messi, he's not been credited for the assist, but I'm going to give him that assist. No, it was Lahm, sorry. It was Philippe Lahm with the cross. And he's made a massive difference since he's come in. Should have scored with the first shot, but he gets it in on the second. And we are 4-0 up. 5-1 on aggregate. And I am going to make that change. I'm going to bring Yaya Torre off. He has picked up a knock. I really hope this hasn't sort of... Uh, he's not out for a long time. Because I hope Bozhinov isn't out for a long time either. Because otherwise, we've only got Mike Hank to play up front. So we're going to make that sub. Yaya Torre's come off. I'm going to leave Bozhinov on. Because he looks like he wants to play on. And he is playing quite well. So I'm going to leave him on. But we're 4-0 up out in Italy. 87 minutes. Matty Taylor. Throw it in the goal! Who is it? Is it an own goal? Is it Bozhinov? Are they going to give it? I don't even know what's going on here myself. It comes from the free kick. Is Bozhinov going to try and claim it? He's on for a hat-trick. Andy Fay is looking at the video. Let's have a look. What's it going to be for? I think it's going to be a goal kick. I don't think it's going to be given. Yeah, it's a foul by Andy Faye. Not going to be given. It is a goal kick. We might as well see it through the full time. We'll let, we'll let them not give that goal. We've already scored four. We don't need five. But we have scored five overall. 5-1 on aggregate. We really have turned it around in the second leg. Could we go all the way? Could we go all the way? Because if we win the UEFA Cup, we go into the Champions League. So there are multiple routes for us to get into the Champions League. I'm going to give a passion up very happy with the way you played. And that is going to set us up for a UEFA Cup semi-final. And we are in there. Portsmouth triumph of the Bianconeri. That's probably how you not say it. Bozhinov's out for two days. Yaya Toy's out for two days. So that's great. We haven't got any long-term injuries. We have reached the semi-finals. We're going to praise Bozhinov. You were superb in front of goal. And England boss Alan Pardew. Yes, that's the timeline we live in. Was scouting for Kevin Nolan and Matty Taylor. So we look at the competitions and the four teams that are in the semi-finals are Parma, Portsmouth, Lazio and Villa. So we've got two Italian teams, two English teams. So what we will do, we will come back for the semi-final draw. Here we are. Semi-final draw. Anyone can play anyone. And it's Aston Villa, Lazio, Parma or Portsmouth. Personally, I would like an Italian team. We've already beaten Udinese. We might be able to get past Lazio or Parma. But Aston Villa, an all-domestic tie, will make things very interesting. We've already played Aston Villa towards the end of the season anyway in the league. So hopefully we don't have to draw them. We are going to get the automatic draw underway. Who is it going to be? Who's first out? Aston Villa will play Portsmouth. So it is an all-English tie in the UEFA Cup semi-final. Lazio and Parma is the other tie. And we've got to get past our domestic rivals, Villa, if we're going to have any chance of reaching the final of the UEFA Cup. Who's home first? So Villa are home first. That's not too bad. I don't mind playing away first. So we can come back to Pompey, come back to Fratton Park to get the job done. So if we look at the schedule, I think what we will do is we will come back next episode for the two legs of the UEFA Cup semi-final. So it is a pure UEFA Cup episode next time out. So you are going to miss the Liverpool Southampton games in between. And then we'll play, obviously, this, the Spurs game in between the two UEFA Cup games. So then that'll be, if you're watching this as it comes out, that'll be Wednesday's episode. Friday's episode will be the last episode of the season where we'll play Aston Villa in the league to see if we will get a Champions League place through the league and a potential UEFA Cup final. So we'll look at the semi-final first. So there we are, UEFA Cup semi-final, Aston Villa playing Portsmouth. That's going to be next episode. We're going to have both legs being shown there. And if we pan over to the league, we are in fourth place, but it is incredibly tight at the top. We've got Spurs, Portsmouth, Newcastle and Chelsea 
all within two points of each other. So if we don't make Champions League through the league, we may have to rely on the UEFA Cup. So it's all getting pressure to the end of the season. We've only got about, what, six games to go. So it's all heating up in the race for Champions League qualification. But leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2019 content. We upload Project Pompey every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 6pm GMT. And tune in next time for a UEFA Cup double. It's Aston Villa. It's a domestic tie for a place in the UEFA Cup final. Thank you very much for watching.